I've done a lot of guides for modern Minecraft and a lot of those videos contain guides on how to automate certain things that are a bit harder to figure out by yourself. However, I just wanted to put um, some in their own videos so that you can be able to Google how do you automate the metallurgy confuser and there's a video that's a minute long and it'll show you how to do it. So that's where I'm coming in with today. So I'm going to show you two versions, one using AE2 and one without using AE2. This one is entirely self-contained in itself. It is not a perfect system, don't get me wrong. However, it, it does get the job done. So how does this one work? So you have this chest here. Once the GUI decides to load, you have a logistical sorter pulling out the top. You have enriched iron and iron on the green filter, and then you have the blue filter set to coal. Then inside, so this one is blue, you have the enrichment chamber here. So basically how it works is you have the right set to the input and then you have the left set to the output. And then in this one, you have the right set to the extra, extra yellow. So you want the right set to yellow and on the infuse types, you want the right set to input. This will allow the infusion type from the enrichment chamber to go into here, as you can see. So it'll go, once the coal has been enriched, <clears throat> sorry, once the coal's been enriched, it'll go into here. And then inside here, we're gonna have our iron. And that's set to go on the green channel. And then this logistical sorter at the back is set to pull out the enriched iron through into here. And it's only set to pull the enriched iron. So it'll only pull enriched iron out. If it's steel dust, then it's going to go to the left, which will go into this iron furnace, which is set to input on the right and output on the front. So basically how it works is the coal goes into here and then to there. Iron goes into here and the enriched iron comes back around and goes back into there to be made into steel dust. Let's show this in action. So we're going to place in one piece of coal and four pieces of iron. So as you can see, the enrichment chamber is slowly but enriching this coal into enriched carbon. And now we placed into here. And now you will notice we have 80 millibuckets of carbon, but only four iron ingots. This is because we want to, in this example, just do um, use one piece of coal. So you'd only be able to do eight pieces uh, uh, yeah, four pieces of steel dust because you have to send it through twice. You have to send the enriched rich, iron back through again to create steel dust because it's iron plus carbon equals enriched iron and then enriched iron plus carbon equals steel dust. So let's wait for it to finish. And now it's all going back in. And then once this one's done, it'll push it into the iron furnace. As you can see, it's now working. Now let's talk about another system. This is using AE2. Now there is a very convoluted method of doing this where you can get the infused type chemicals into your ME system. However, I don't feel like it's worth the effort when you can just do this. I will say that with the example of the enrichment chamber and the energized smelter, you don't need this complex buffer chest system set up. You can literally sn slap the ME pattern provider on top of them and set the top to in out like that. And it will take the items in and then push them out the top. But in this example, we're using it, this so it maintains symmetry. So the metallurgic infuser has the top set to yellow that's ye yellow will take in any extra form of input, which in this case is infused types. The front is just set to input. So the top, so sorry, yeah, the top will receive the enriched coal or the enriched carbon. The front will receive the iron and the back will output back into the pattern provider. The recipes I've got configured are based around the fact that it's using the enriched variant. So if you have a look here, can I, can I open the up the, hold up, let's, let's open them up in here. So if you have a look in here, eight enriched, car uh, eight enriched iron plus one enriched carbon equals eight steel dust. So this is doing it in batches of eight. This is because there's 80 millibuckets of enriched carbon per, um, of, or of carbon per enriched carbon. Same with the 
uh, uh, rich in, enriched iron recipe, it's eight iron and one enriched carbon will create eight enriched iron. So let's go back over here. We'll watch this live at work. So we're going to go into our terminal over here. And we're going to craft, we want to craft eight. So the coal is being enriched right now. And then once that's done, it's going to be pulled back into the pattern provider through the back here. And that's going to be placed into here along with eight iron to be enriched into eight enriched iron. And then so on and so forth, that's going to be done. And once the steel dust is done, it's going to be coming into this energized smelter or to then pulled back into the ME system. So that's how you automate the metallurgic infuser for mechanism. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I intend to do a few more videos covering a few more things that need that are harder to automate that I, I would like a good guide for. Um, if you if there's anything you're struggling to automate, please feel free to let me know. What the fuck? Oh, wink, wink.